So yeah, this is the island creator. So first off, we gotta just I'm just gonna make whatever island. There, perfect. I made an island. Everyone remember, this is a private stream. It's a it's a secret. So 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 make sure you don't like, um, don't subscribe, don't share this with your friends. Uh, this is a secret. Don't tell tell anyone. You don't. This this is our secret between us. Never tell anyone, or else I'll come. I'll find out. I'll find out, and I'll come to your house. All right. So this is so far going to be the most fun part of this whole game. Is just grappling, hook, hooking around, hooking all over the place. I'm going to be hooking, hooking all over. They're going to call me a professional hooker. Because I'm going to be hooking so much. When the full game is out, imagine doing this, but also having an airship to build. And, uh... I, I honestly really can't wait for it. I really can't. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's make something cool. Wait! Did Kim abandon the mullet dragon? Are you fucking kidding me? All she had to do was take one of... Take her dragon and put a mullet on it. This is ridiculous. I won't stand for this. You know, you think you think the world makes sense and then fucking Kim abandons the mullet dragon. Jesus Christ. This is un unforgivable. All right. How would uh how would one make a mullet island? Perfect. Look, we got some grass. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, this looks like a place I want to go. There we go. Got some grass on top. You know, if there's grass on the field, make an airship there. That's what they say. I've heard them say that. <laughs> Have a drink every time you hear danger drink. Uh, yeah, I, pl I played that game on, uh, on New Year's Eve. Every time I took a drink, I took a drink. It uh, didn't work out very well. I was really sick the next day. It was really awful. I, I didn't enjoy it, to be perfectly honest. Let's get some, uh... Oh, you know what? We could... We could make a thingy. Let's see. What do we got? We got some ruins. Ooh, how about a head? Let's put a head... Here. <laughs> All those years of uh, learning 3D, uh, 3D modeling is gonna pay off. If we put a big head here... Oh, wait, this is how we can make the mullet. This is how we can do it! <laughs> all right, all right, I got a plan. I've got a plan. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get this head upright. We need this head upright. Oh, my God, yes. Yes, yes, yes. We have to make this a lot bigger, though. A lot bigger for sure. The head is going to be the island. Oh my god, this is a brilliant idea. <sighs> see what you made me do? <laughs> do you see what I'm doing now? You see how this is all your fault? There we go, perfect. Oh man, this is going to be the best. It's going to be the best mullet island you've ever seen. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll flatten. Hold on, I'm going to bring it up. Slightly above the dome area. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. I've watched some of the, uh, the Worlds Adrift streams and, uh, while they really enjoy seeing stuff like this, this will never make it into the game. <laughs> Pretty close. We're gonna have to give him a haircut, of course, but uh, it's it's coming along. It's coming along. I'm just trying to get a basic shape going on, and then uh, and then I'm just gonna start removing material at some, <laughs> at some point. All right. He absolutely needs a mustache too. Let's let's just bring this up here. All right, it's, it's getting close. It's getting close. He needs he needs like a real a real handlebar going on. When you're sculpting, uh, when you're when you're doing some some 3D modeling, 
first step is you do you do a lot of broad strokes. You get everything everything uh, relatively close with some some big broad brush strokes, and then uh, then after you come in with the fine details. Oh my god! Oh, that's almost perfect. It's almost perfect already. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, I, I like where this is going. Oh my god, this is like the best thing I've ever done with my life. Oh man, all those years of 3D modeling, this is what it was for. Oh my god! <laughs> he looks amazing! <laughs> Alright, now we start, now we work on the hair, alright? We uh we get to that hair. All right, let's uh let's the power a little bit. I don't want some ridiculous power, but we need to get some some broad strokes in there. Let's just eat away a little bit. Just get a just get a general shape going on. Let's see. We need a long a long flowing flowing mullet. So uh, I'm gonna bring this back around the neck area a little bit. He needs uh he needs this uh, flat top to become a buzz a little bit so just gonna take a little bit off the sides. There we go. Oh he ne he needs some crazy sideburns. Oh yeah you need some like chops that's what he needs. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's almost like it's like it's almost touching. It's almost touching the mustache, but not quite like it almost seems like it was intentional, but it's clearly not because there's clearly a gap here. Like, uh, like the guy's like, it's like, oh, man, you, you, you got like an old timey mustache. But then you realize it's like, no, he just he just hasn't put enough thought into his into his chops to realize that it's almost touching his mustache. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm going for. You know, some of this is gray and some of it's green. What I should do is I should paint all of it so that it's really easy to see. So I'm going to pull this color out. I'm going to tint it, uh, like, pink. There we go. Because I really want to be able to see this. I'm going to use the, uh, the fill tool. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what the Top selected. <laughs> it looks like it's got bloody nose. <laughs> I, I, I seriously wish that the uh, the developers of Worlds Adrift will find this island and say, "What in the unholy fuck did you do?" <laughs> if if I had one, <laughs> if I had one wish in this world. It would be that Mullet Island make it to the final version of the World's Adrift game. <laughs> you see, the good thing about this is it has the flat top, so there's area to build up here. Let's uh, let's test out Mullet Island and see how we're doing so far. <laughs> see, yeah, this is this is a lot of area to uh, to build on. Big flat area. Wee! There's <laughs> there's the mullet. <laughs> oh man, the mustache. So good. So good. I desperately want this to be in the game. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, Booze. I am a booger. Look at me. I'm a booger. <laughs> we... Actually, I was going to give him kind of like a high and tight flat top, but I'm kind of liking the uh, the size here. It's, it's very unkempt. You know, it's like... It's like it's like he had he had a good haircut at some point and then he just kind of let it go for a while. He's like, I'm going to let the wild reclaim it. When this is done, we absolutely need a uh, a screenshot. We need to send a screenshot to Worlds Adrift. They they need to know. <laughs> they need to know what happened here. These sideburns are like my <laughs> my crowning achievement in life. Oh man, yes, yes. Oh man, it's coming along perfectly. Oh, this could be—it could be like flowing in the wind too. You see how it's like, 
It's more on the on his left side than than the right. Oh yeah. All right. Let's let's uh let's bring that widow's peak down a little bit. He's business in front, all right, but party in the rear. Yeah, he's got he's got a little bit of a uh, recession going on, but that's okay. He's that's not gonna stop him from partying. Oh yeah. Oh my God, so perfect. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Most beautiful creature I've ever laid eyes on. We need some luscious locks flowing freely in the breeze as he rides his dirt bike uh, through his small, small town on his way to the gas station to get a cheeseburger and fill up the tank on his dirt bike. It's almost turning into like a tentacle monster. It's flying, turning into a flying spaghetti monster. Oh my god. Confirmed. Flying spaghetti monster is, is Mullet Man. We found him. We found the spaghetti monster. <laughs> this is clearly this is clearly a monument, is what it is. Something happened here. This is telling a story of the of the world that we live in. This is uh this is the depiction of a great hero. Arnold B. Mullet. He won the lottery and erected a statue in his greatness. And he was like, I, there needs to be a statue of me. In all of my glory, riding my dirt bike. You know, they all, they said, you know, when you when you get all that money from the lottery, things are going to change. You're not going to want to ride a dirt bike anymore, but that's that's what he does. He says says I'm I'm that I'm not you can't change you can't change me. You can't tame this dog. I was born free. I was born riding a dirt bike. I'm going to die riding a dirt bike. That's what he said. So he erected a statue in his in his own likeness. And uh, and now it's uh, it's all that remains of a uh, of a now fractured and floating world out there in the uh, the abyss, which is which no longer exists. For some reason, we've got floating islands, and one of those islands is a giant statue of of Arnold B. Mullet. <laughs> I think Arnold B. Mullet is uh, is really coming together here. I think it's time to start painting the mullet. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with layer one because he's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be rock, right? But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do grass on top. Oop. Give it. A, give it another splash there. Well, you know what? We could probably do uh, dirt first. Let's let's actually throw some dirt down. Cause uh, here's what here's what happened in the centuries since the world exploded. Um, birds. Birds were attracted to the mullet, right? And they just kept on, like, eating berries and twigs and, and shitting all over the mullet. And all that bird shit eventually turned into dirt, you know, like actual arable soil. And just collected on top of the mullet. Um, just layers and layers and layers of, of sed sentiment, sed sediment, and then... It became it became arable. The bird shit soil became very like fertile, and the grass started to grow on top of the mullet. We also need a, a layer of moss. So I need texture. I need uh, how about mossy? <laughs> sure, a dark uh, dark green moss to grow on the underside. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is coming together. Give it some more moss. That might actually be too dark. <laughs> Can I control Z that? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, actually. That is absolutely perfect. I wish I could apply it to this prop, too. But that's fine. Oh, my God. Witness his glory. <laughs> his magnificent glory. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so good. See, and then because we put all that texture in, we're getting all that moss on the uh, on the underside of the uh, the hair too. Getting a lot of uh, a lot of detail here. Not only did this did this prove to be the best place, you know, the, the the soil came from the bird shit, the bird shit soil, but also uh, other things happened too. Uh, we 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 got got uh, bushes. 
bushes happened. Uh, more. More bushes. More bushes. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Let's get some small red flowers. Put some more more flowers. All right. Perp 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 flowers. Purple flowers. Got it. Blue flowers. I don't even see them. Where's all these flowers? It's probably under the Oh yeah, it's under the bushes. Oh, these bushes, man. Oh my god, I might have made a mistake. They're so big. <laughs> I didn't realize how big the bushes were. <laughs> how would I... Oh, wait, maybe there's a separate thing for trees. Where's trees? Trees, down here. We need some trees. All right. Straight green tree. All right, let's place some trees. Holy Jesus Christ, there's a lot of trees. That was like 200 trees. That was way too many trees. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, look at that. This is this looks like a nice place. Let's get a different type of tree going on. Dark green. All right. Oh, he's got a forest on top of his head. Let's uh let's go ahead and test out the island. See see where it's at. See. There we go. Ow! <laughs> All right, I'm stuck in a bush. I'm in a bush. I can't see shit. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna grapple up. There we go. <laughs> the bushes are pretty thick up here. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's right. Arnold B. Mullet loved Bush. It's it's a fact. He was a big supporter of President Bush. <laughs> All right. Let's uh let's take a look down here. Oh my god. It's like honestly. I could I could see this being in a real video game. <laughs> you know, I feel like if the World's Adrift dev team don't put this in, it's cuz they're racist. That's why. That's why that's why they wouldn't do it. This is a this is a work of art. I think we probably could do with a lot less bush. I kind of wanted to redo the foliage to be perfectly honest. Can I uh can I, is there just an undo foliage button? <laughs> I don't think there's a way to undo it. I could control Z it though. Maybe I could get some. Hold on. I'm just gonna control Z all the, all the bushes. I really need to redo the bushes. Okay, that's good for the large bushes. That's the thing is, I put a lot of big bushes in there, and what I need is small bushes. There we go. Let's just let's just fill. Oh, oh, look at that. It's uh. Check it out. Man, it's still a lot of bushes, though. Still a lot of bushes. Yeah, this isn't working. I need I need far less bush. Oh, wait, how about some stalks? What are stalks going to look like? Got some... Uh, oh, yeah, that's what these are. Okay. Bring that count down. And let's take a look. Oh, this is much better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see myself uh, frolicking in a place like this. I'm going to really bring the count... Well, actually, no, the count was pretty good, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. And dark green. And, uh... Oh, my God, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, look at Mullet Forest! Oh, it looks so good! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> oh, man! It's perfect. It's so perfect. There's even some flowers over here in this, uh, in this shop. <laughs> oh my god. Carve custom murals to be discovered by players? Okay. I'm gonna put it right there. Now, in, th in theory, I should be able to carve into this? I don't really understand how that works. I don't really know what to do with this now. Wait, I got an idea. How about uh, objects? Edit. There we go. Edit mural design. Perfect. What does Arnold B. Mullet believe in? 
<laughs> dice, maybe? Oh yeah, I like the dice that are in his Trans Am. There we go. This is uh, this is Arnold B. Mullet's story. You know, he was, he was a man who gambled. He, ga he gambled fast and loose, but he was a slave to the system until one day he became very wealthy and he got all the women. And then he was free. <laughs> Perfect. Oh man, people are going to find that and they're going to know what Arnold B. Mullet stood for. This stone I'm going to rotate as well. There we go. He seeks only to share his wisdom and his wealth. That's the wealth that he leaves behind. His, uh, his beer cooler. <laughs> All right. Oh, perfect. And see, it's it's pointing in the right direction. It points face forward. So imagine, uh, imagine you flew your 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 sky ship over here, and you docked on his nose. Actually, let's let's go down to the nose. Hiya. And you're like, what, what could possibly be at the top? I could have just parked my ship at the top, but uh, I was I was mesmerized by his beauty. So. uh... So you, par you, you parked by his nose and uh, and swung your way up here. There we go. And you're like, wow, what is, what is this? What is this amazing place? It's this forest. This mullet of a forest. And then you realize this is someone's legacy. Someone's legacy is here. <laughs> and then you just uh, hook up to the knowledge stone and you get the knowledge and then there you go. I don't actually know how to do that. You can't do that in this, but there you go. There you go, everybody. We got a we got ourselves the the mullet island. Whee! All right. So here we're gonna, gonna share this to the Steam Workshop, and uh, let's upload as a new item. Let's take a preview image. There we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Your move, Bossa Studios. <laughs> yeah, so if you go on Steam and you go under the uh, the 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 uh, World's Adrift Island creator and uh, and find Mullet Island, be sure to like upvote the fuck out of it, because because uh, Mullet Island needs to be known. They need to know that Mullet Island existed. Oh my god. <laughs> Danger then gets banned from the game. Yep. 